Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Don from Zenyatta Ventures. How are you today, Don? Great, thanks. Good to be back. Don, I noticed this morning that our story there back about Zenyatta is trending number three for most read on our site. And of course, you just uh, recently became the co-CEO after joining the board of directors. Can you tell me what the catalyst was for you joining this team? Well, I've been involved uh, with Zenyatta peripherally right from the start when the Albany graphite deposit was first discovered. And I recognized then that this was something very special. Uh, and indeed, that's what's proven to be the case now. So I knew Aubrey Evely, the former CEO, well, and um, helped him kind of understand what, uh, what are the possibilities with this, uh, this graphite deposit and acted as an, as an advisor, but also was an investor and, uh, and a shareholder and still am in the company because of my belief that this unique resource uh, will prove to have great value for the shareholders in the long term. Of course, we have interviewed uh, professionals over the years, and your background is a geo. Uh, can you tell us, our audience who may not be familiar with Zenyatta Ventures, about the uniqueness of Zenyatta's graphite? Yeah, it's a very uh, special deposit. Every geologist that's looked for massive sulfide deposits has drilled graphite and, uh, and been disappointed because, of course, it's a conductive mineral and you're looking for metallic minerals with the copper and, and, and zinc. And this was an example of an exploration program of serendipity where uh, they were looking for copper nickel massive sulfide deposits by drilling airborne EM conductors and hit graphite. <clears throat> and normally that's like, oh, sh darn, missed it on this one. But uh, this one was recognized by Aubrey early on. Well, that's not your typical graphite. This is a very funny looking graphite. We should find out more about it. And for your viewers, this is the material that comes out of this Albany graphite deposit. You can see it's got this very unusual breccia texture. And the graphite is the matrix to these uh, fragments of the original wall rock. And it formed by a, an explosive volcanic event where this fluid that was enriched in, in uh, CO2 basically crystallized very quickly and essentially flash frozen. And that's the unique property of this. Usually um, graphite forms through metamorphism and forms these very large crystals or flakes. This formed these very fine crystals and these fine crystals are now proving to be very advantageous for making the very high-end monolayer type of graphene product. I was just talking to an investor this morning and he was wearing a t-shirt that said, you had me at graphene. So for those of you out there who are looking at your cannabis uh, winnings and looking for new sectors to invest your money, you may want to take a look at graphene. So if you can just kind of give us a, a broad stroke on the competitive advantages of Zenyatta's graphene, please. Well, graphene is not that easy to make. It's a nanomaterial where you're trying to make a particle, a layer, that's one atom thick. And that involves a process called exfoliation, of peeling off the other layers to get down to ideally that one layer thick particle, nanoparticle. <clears throat> and um, the way this deposit formed, making these very, very fine crystals, is proving to be ideal for getting down to that single layer more efficiently and at a lower cost. So it looks like it's uh, perfectly suited for this emerging high-tech application. And for those of you that may not be familiar with some of the applications, uh, graphene is being used for the future use for uh, rebar and for military applications. For instance, F-16 is not being identified on radars. Is that correct, Don? Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, those are a couple of examples of dozens out there of possibilities that are now being investigated by research scientists all over the world, including a number of institutions here in Canada and right here uh, in Ontario, where there's some of the real leaders in uh, research and development on new uh, applications for graphene being developed. And uh, a number of them are related to Composite materials, we're adding a little bit of graphene, greatly improves the overall properties of, uh, 
of that material. And one recent example we talked about in a news release last month was in cement for concrete. Add a little bit of graphene, you greatly improve the properties of that cement so that concrete product can be made lighter and stronger. And these days, light weighting is a very big trend in all new material science, how to make things lighter and stronger. And graphene can do that in lots of things. Okay, so thank you for bringing up the cement news release. Um, you also have, I mean, if you're looking at Zenyatta news release flow, uh, we're talking about graphene a lot. And uh, so most recently we have Tokyo Tech Research confirms ease of conversion of Zenyatta's Albany graphite to graphene. Can you tell us a little bit more about this news release? Yeah, so this basically was an independent institution that did the research work to understand exactly what it is about Albany that's um, making it so unique for making this high-end graphene product. And as I just explained, and they've basically confirmed in this independent research, is it's related to this fine crystal size and the ease of exfoliation to get down to the single or up to three layer graphene that everybody wants. Well, ever since you become co-CEO, we're seeing a lot of regular news flow. What should we as shareholders anticipate for the fall, Don? Well, more news flow on uh, developments in this uh, graphene market for sure. But we've got to get back to work on the ground there. Um, to develop these markets for new materials like graphene, you've got to start producing uh, small quantities of the material to introduce it to the markets and allow your customers to test its properties and find out how they can take advantage of it. So we've got to collect another uh, bulk sample of the mineralization from the ground and then process that and then um, uh, look at making more of the graphene products in the partnerships that we now have with a number of the institutions, both academic and industrial institutions that we've talked about in our recent news releases. So we're working on getting organized to uh, do that bulk sampling program uh, this winter. It involves bringing in a big rig to drill large diameter core, try to collect just under a thousand tons of the rock. So we'll have lots of material to do that next critical stage of product development um, work. Well, Don, Zenyatta has one of my most favorite trading symbols, Z-E-N, or for those Americans that watch Investor Intel, Z-E-N. Don, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, and watch for their future name, Zen Graphene Solutions. Fabulous, thank you.